lousy first quarter. I thought we were pretty pretty good the uh, second, third, and fourth. So got to get off to better starts. Can you just talk about how they were able to get out to such a, a great start in the first quarter? Well, I haven't looked at it yet. But uh, I got to believe that uh, our presence defensively was not where it needed to be. Um, they hit us with a lot of shots, shot make, you know, a lot of made shots, drives to the basket, um, and we were on our heels. You know, the second night of the back-to-back -back is not an excuse because we've been good all year in those situations. So we just got to we just got to be better. Um, I thought we could play through it, maybe. Um, Maybe should have got a timeout sooner. You know, that's on me if that's the case. But, uh, you know, look, uh, there's no questioning the fight in this team. You know, second, third, and fourth quarters were, were really, really good, really solid. It just, you know, you give up 46 in the first quarter, it's, you know, it's almost like you got to hit a play a perfect game from there. So it's very difficult. Uh, yeah, I, I just I just don't think um, our defensive posture was anywhere near what it needed to be, and um, yeah, I'll look at it on the film. You know, so, some nights you get hit with a a team that's just ready to go, and they just they just get you on your heels. Uh, I think Orlando was they're rested and they were ready to go, but we got to be better than what we were to start the game. It always plays some kind of role, but we've been good in back-to-backs um, in the second night all season long. So we're not going to make that excuse. Uh, we've simply got to be better to start the game. Phoenix has uh, three straight games with. What are you reading off of there? You know, I just got I got my notes. Gotta, I got to be prepared. You know. Okay. <laughs> I'm impressed. Uh, we know we could score, and uh, you know I, I mentioned this last night after the game that uh, you know this time of year where a lot of rookies are really hitting the wall, he's he, it's like he's gaining momentum and gaining strength, and so that's a testament to his strong will as a player, and uh, you know so far hasn't missed a game, and. Uh, you know, was was really was really aggressive uh, from start to finish tonight. So he did a he did a good job attacking. And then uh, Buddy had his 18th game with um, at least five threes. He had six tonight. Um, what did you like? 18th game this year. That's what I. That's with at least five threes. That's what I researched. That's. Yeah. <laughs> um, what did you What did you like from him tonight? Well, I I, I like when he was shooting open threes, <laughs> and. Uh, I wasn't as fond of of uh, you know some of the turnovers that happened. It wasn't just him, but you know when we were going through periods when we rested TJ, you know it's it's tough. It's different different alignment than what we've had. Um, but I think all things considered, you know the group we had out there, you know with Buddy playing point and you know Chris and Ben and you know whoever the the other two guys were, whether it was O'Shea at four, TT at four. Um, and, you know, one of the five men, you know, those guys did a good job to to be creative and find ways to, to score, get the ball in the basket. And we were getting some stops during that stretch, too. So so that was good. And, uh, you know, Buddy's been been talking about how he can play the point. And this is, you know, he's had his opportunity the last couple of games. He's done he's done well. Well, you know, you, you get behind double digits and then you get it to within five or six. And then, you know, with, with three or four minutes left, you, you've really got to be almost perfect. Um, 
You know, they hit us with with one three, I think, in a late clock situation. Uh, Harris hurt us all night with three point shooting. Um, and then there was one one or two other drives. And it just the lesson is that we just gotta be better from start to finish because what happens in the first quarter um, really translate to what happens in the fourth quarter. I I think Van Carroll's tremendous. You know, you know, tonight we saw, you know, the two best rookies in the league. And uh, their stats are were incredibly comparable. Um, and uh, they're both great, you know. And uh, I thought that was, that was fun to watch, you know, both of those guys doing what they do. And I thought both those guys had strong games. It was basically like a regular night, to be honest. You know, I'm just trying to go out there, trying to get the win. Um, you know, and just have fun with my teammates. This is your uh, third straight game with 20 plus points for the first time this season. What are you seeing out there, and how do you think you're, you know, dominating as well? Um, I'm just trying to stay aggressive. You know, every time I come in the game, um, I'm trying to say I'm trying to be the same person. You know, I'm trying to attack the rim, uh, get to the foul line, and you know, I'm pretty much just trying to make winning plays. So I feel like it's been pretty pretty helpful for the team. When you look at the, the game as a whole, what do you think is the, the biggest thing that you can take away from, from this one? Um, we just got to start games better. You know, um, watching the last couple of games, I feel like uh, we are pretty much um, trying to weigh in on like second quarter, third quarter, just to, uh, just, just to trying to get back in the game. And I feel like that's been, that's been hurting us. And uh, I feel like starting the game um, a better way, obviously going to, going to help us win the games. And then in, in the fourth quarter, you know, you guys never quit, no matter you know what what the score of the game was. But where do you think you ultimately fell short tonight? Um, I mean, they were they were making plays. You know, they were. I feel like we we could have grabbed more rebounds. Um, or felt like we could have been more uh, effective on defense and uh, taking better shots on offense too. So I feel like it was a it was a big part of uh, you know uh, the results tonight. And I feel like uh, we got to step up, be ready for Friday. Ben, what's been the biggest surprise for you adjusting to the league? Um, pretty much just just knowing, you know, how things are going. You know, um, guys are bigger, taller, and stronger, so you just gotta adjust to that. Um, I feel like the Reds, I was pretty much able to to take care of that, and um, meaning, you know, put the work in. I was uh, believing that saying, you know, if you put the work in, the basketball gods gonna uh, reward you. So that's my. I really like this quote, but also I, it relates to me a lot, you know. Yesterday, Rick said something that a lot of rookies are slowing down, hitting the wall, and you're getting stronger. Do you believe that's accurate? And if so, what do you attribute that to? Well, pretty much, you know, um, I like I like when games are tough. You know, I feel like I'm learning a lot, and um, I'm growing as a as a player and as a person too. You know, um, I mean, I've been through adversity most of my most of my life, most of my career as well. So I feel like I'm I'm pretty prepared for those moments, and to um, you know stepping up during those moments, but also um, just being me.